Up next is the budget reviewing calendar. So everybody has a copy. We can go ahead and start. So based on the action that the council just took this afternoon uh, to accept the budget from the, the mayor a week later, we tried to adjust the calendar for you. Um, we tried to make sure that we uh, were minimally disruptive to your schedule as possible because we know you had a lot of the dates on your calendar already. So um, the calendar before you will start your budget review on March 12th or on next Tuesday, which is the mayor's submittal of the budget. Monday, March 18th was a date we already had on the calendar. And so what we did was we just really moved back your school's review to Monday. And the items that were originally there for March 18th, we sort of parsed out between March 18th and a couple of other dates, namely April 1st and April 8th. So at this point, there are no additional days. We just really rearranged the topics that will be presented to you. And the only other item that's there that you have not seen is on Monday, April 22nd, which is page three, we actually um, added a review for the Department of Information Technology since you all have actually had some uh, projects and ongoing audit with some of the systems that DIT is working on. And you've, you've had these dates since October. New members have had them <coughs> since the orientation. Dr. Newman. So, um, hopefully these are on your sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that glare. So that concludes my presentation. Questions for questions for staff? Miss Robertson. Now I must have misunderstood something in went through this process. Um, it was my understanding that Throughout the budget year, we would have work sessions with the administration so we would have a better understanding as to where we were and where we were going. So by the time we got the budget, it wouldn't be like we're seeing this thing for the first time. Did I dream that or am I not? We have, what had, had, um, we have had work sessions with the administration and you were involved in some of those. and. Um, we had a work session with them during the retreat. You mean additional sessions? Because at this point, they are creating the budget and that they're not going to work with us on that piece of it. So am I not understanding your question? I don't know. You may be understanding my question. I, th I think maybe my expectation what those work sessions were going to be through the process of the budget may have been obviously different than what actually was being communicated. Now, are you talking about those Friday sessions? Because we do have those in this calendar where staff, council staff and administration, they are going to work together on those Friday sessions. sessions. Is that what you remember? No? Yeah, that's all we incorporated into the calendar. Okay, so I guess the work sessions that we have scheduled right now um, is going to be as we have done it in previous years where administration is making presentation to us on these different sections of the budget? Well, what's going to happen with that, um, as you remember, all members previously finance had taken the lead, but now it's all nine members of council sharing equally in the budget process. And yes, it will involve presentations, but those presentations, I guess, will be a bit more structured in terms of um, what we're requesting in those presentations. In addition, and um, the deputy CCOS can correct me if I'm wrong, but prior to those uh, presentations, you're going to have some analysis done by council staff. Um, so you won't be hearing the presentations and not have some, I guess, leading documents to help you through that process. So we're going to be shaping the presentation a bit more than previously. And you're also going to have some analysis by your staff to try to help you as you hear this information. Is that not what you envision? Did I 
Thank you. No, you captured it all. Lou, the only thing I'd ask, and uh, I don't want to spring this on anybody, so I'd like some basic consensus from council on this, but in years past, we get these presentations, and I mean, usually we get the presentation, and then we have to struggle around to see what questions there are to ask, because it's all just, I'd like to have the information delivered to us, not just at some nebulous time beforehand, because usually that means 10 a.m. beforehand or the night beforehand, but 48, 72 hours, something like that, so that we have time to digest what's going to be presented, and we might be able to speed up the presentation some by having a better understanding of it, as well as better questions to ask. I know that you guys have always been really good about hounding council members for any questions about the actual budget, but as we get these presentations, I'd like to express to the administration that if we don't get them 72 hours, 48 hours, I want to be fair to the administration, 48 hours beforehand, what happens? Um, most of these meetings are happening on Mondays, so 48 hours would be what, Saturday deadlines? Friday. We'd want a Friday deadline we want a Friday. for a Monday mm -hmm. meeting. So 48 hours unless it lands mm -hmm. on a Monday, then we want them on Friday. Right. Okay. If, if they don't deliver, what are we going to do about it? Yeah, well, it's not a vote, it's a presentation. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to... Even a draft at that point itself. Right. So. Okay, just we ex we yeah, we'll leave it at we'll leave it at we expect it and deal with the rest as it appears. Dr. Newville. Just a point of clarification: the uh, council line item budget review sessions uh, th those were optional, okay. and those so. were put in there um, at the request of. Well, what we noticed during the last budget session was that maybe one or two members really wanted information on um, that would have been contained in the line item budget. Mm -hmm. And typically at your level we haven't provided that so we got a little mired down in some of these sessions. So we incorporated those optional for members. Okay. And that really those were previously at the request of um, former counselor Tyler. Okay. Now so if, those, you, if you want those we can leave them in here but that is not something that um, you know. So it's really the work session itself, the right. full session, the noon to four. Right. Okay. Those are the ones, not even the Friday sex sessions. Those are really for staff. Right. No, no, no. I'm mm -hmm. just on the council special meeting, mm -hmm. the 11 to noon, and the, uh, okay. That's very helpful. Thank right. you. But if I wanted the line item information, I could have that. Right. I can receive that. Oh, okay, Absolutely. so. Okay. And um, we're not, Which if I'll we're want. going to do those sessions, we just need to know that people are actually going to come because other than that, we're not going to prepare for those because typically that's not been something the majority of the members uh -huh. have been interested in. I think it is fair to say that all of council wants the line item. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even okay. if it's not in session. So even if I did, I, even if I do not attend the session, right. I would still, yeah. Other concerns, comments, or questions? So, so, Ms. President, let me just make sure I'm clear. So, you all nine members want the line item? Yes. Okay. Mr. Agilasto. Just to be clear on the um, staff budget work sessions, uh, that's for our internal staff, but members of council are invited to attend those meetings, but it's not a requirement. These are those Friday meetings. Um, you can certainly attend. It is <coughs> for staff for us to organize and plan. Observe, not participate, right? All right. Any other questions? Very good. Mr. Jones, excellent presentation. <coughs> Up next, board vacancies. 